हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू इन वीडियो की हाल चाल आप इन दिस फ्रिक्वेंसी प्रॉब्लम नेमरिंग बिटवाइज जोर नाउ एज वी हैव मैं जोर सो आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग यू हाउ मस्ट हैव वॉच्ड बिट माई क्वेश्चन क्रैश कोर्स इफ नॉट दैन प्लीज फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन नाउ इट सिंपली सीज दैट यू आर गिवन एन आर ए डेराइव्ड एज यू कैन सी आई एम गिवन एन आर ए डेराइव्ड नाउ इट इज ऑफ अ लेंथ एन एंड इट इज डिराइव्ड बाई कंप्यूटिंग द बिटवाइज जोर of adjacent values in a binary array original of length n so given like imagine imagine you were had a like you had a binary array original which were having the element x1 x2 x3 up till xn this is your original array now you took the bitwise zor of adjacent elements and then you got your new array called as derived so you got d1 right bitwise zor of adjacent elements then taking the bitwise zor here got d2 then here d3 and so on and so forth then you might see obviously for the uh, you know last one you would have taken your dn minus 1 but what about the last one for the last one which means for the dn because they are saying it is also of length n they have simply mentioned that for the last element it is the derived of i will be original of i zor original of 0 so for the dn it is xn and x0 which is being zored so when i say here i am saying zor is happening here zor is happening just to get the corresponding derived array and you are given this derived array you have to figure out and again this is mentioning the same thing that derived of i is nothing but derived of original of i zor origin of i plus 1 derived of i is original of i zor origin of i plus 1 now you are given the derived array and your task is to determine whether there exist a valid valid binary array original that could be formed from the derived so you just have to figure out if with this given derived configuration is it possible to reach to any original configuration or not just written true or false no need to give the actual array to me and again a binary array is the array with zeros or ones now it again there are multiple ways to approach it uh, you can start by saying rn uh, there is one very very basic stuff i know i have this derived array which means i have the values from with me i can take these values let's say i have the values 1 1 0 1 1 something like this sort now i have to figure out if it is possible to get the original array or not then what i can do is i can try simulating or expecting okay let's place this value of 1 again just ex just imagine if you place this value 1 now if this zor is 1 it is a 1 it should be a 0 right right because 1 zor 0 will give you a 1 so okay you just imagine that the first value is something and then you easily derive the next value now okay this is 0 this is 1 so it should be 1 and so you will keep on you keep on making the corresponding array if ultimately in the end you are able to make all the elements in the original array well and good you can simply return the answer as true or false that is one way obviously with that way you will also be able to figure out what is the original array itself although in the question they are only asking true or false but with this specific way you are able to also figure out what's the array original array itself okay that's one way now the same exact way if you don't want to expect or imagine any element just write what a d1 is simple d1 is nothing but x1 zor x2 again considering you have watched the crash course so you know there is a very beautiful zor property that property says a zor a is 0 a zor 0 is a that is a very 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 important zor property now coming on that uh, let's complete it okay d2 will look like x2 zor x3 d3 will look like x3 zor x4 right and so on so forth again you will see i have put up d1 not d0 because again i may be like just consider it i am just taking it in the n terms like uh, 1 to n terms not 0 to n minus 1 terms but again both will be same now dn minus 1 will be xn minus 1 zor xn and as we mentioned that dn will be xn zor x0 
can you again now you know this as the given equation you know this as the property can you use this specific property here obviously you can and you actually use the same property while you were simulating also what property as you can see it says that two same elements zor is zero so if i try to zor d1 zor d2 zor if i do it then x2 will result in a zero if i do it with zor d3 x3 will be zero and same way you will see that i will end up i will end up cutting our action cancelling or maybe you know putting up as zero if i do a zor of consecutive elements ultimately when you do the zor of all these elements d1 zor d2 zor d3 zor up till zor dn minus 1 zor dn i will get x1 zor x again this should be x1 itself because i have no x0 per se so x1 then again last in the last x1 zor x1 which again will you will give you a zero so what did you realize from here the condition now becomes that the zor of all elements in the derived array if they result to a zero which means that it is a good configuration and i will be able to achieve a corresponding original configuration from here so that is the only thing which you have to do which means do a zor of all the elements in your derived array if it is zero which means you will be able to achieve the original original array if not then you will not be able to achieve it as you can see you are iterating on all the elements thus the time is o of n and space will be o of one because you know you're not using any extra space again there are multiple ways to approach it as i mentioned you can also simulate it which seems also easy but uh, if you would you know just see um, that okay this is the relation if you do a zor and you'll get the and cancel the values obviously it seems much more easier cool bye bye take care i hope you guys got it bye bye take care please, please like it if you if if, if you guys liked it bye bye